What up folks, Tape here, and to the face, to the face, my name is Mason, and things are about to get sexual up in here, 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 here. <laughs> But no, seriously, my name is Mason, and I'm bringing you guys a commentary that is not by Scene Anders and or Tabes, and I apologize greatly if you thought this was the case, because I'd probably be just as excited as you guys for that. Uh, anyways, we got Domination on Jungle, and just to let you guys know right now, um, this is not a usual commentary for me. Actually, the commentary is probably going to be just as usual as ever, uh, but the video itself might give you... An orgasm. No, um, I'm gonna s just just gonna throw in a few random things throughout the video to keep you guys entertained. Uh, it was kind of fun to just throw it in, just mess around. Uh, you'll see what I mean later out in the video. It might cut off my audio, but it'll probably just pick back up right after whatever's going on is going on. Whatever's going on is going on. <laughs> whatever's going on is done. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't usually talk about the gameplay, and if you've ever watched one of my videos before, you probably already know that. But the difference today is that I'm not talking about the gameplay, but I'm throwing funny stuff in throughout the video, which makes it okay. I don't usually do tips and tricks or anything like that, and whenever I think talking about the gameplay, that's usually what I think of. Although, it's weird to think about how commentating's gotten to the point where sometimes you don't even want to really watch the game, you just want to listen to somebody's voice, uh, depending on how soothing or sexual their voice is. When I say soothing and sexual voice, the first thing that pops to my mind is scene manners. And that's why I threw him in at the beginning of my commentary. And Tabes is just awesome, so there you go. Um, but I'm running the kill streaks, Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Dogs, and I chose this game out of a vast array of amazing games from a session I played. And I have to say that playing in the party is one of the best things you can do while playing. We interrupt this commentary to bring you epic battle music. back. Anyways, what I was saying is that Black Ops or Call of Duty in general, um, they're just a lot more fun to play when you're playing with people that are fun to talk to and or good players. And this game was just a little both, so that's why it turned out so well, in my opinion. And I actually freeze the screen right here because when I died during the game, I'm like, dang, that was a lot of people. And then I look back and it was. And uh, you know what? Let's, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, guys. I think that was a wonderful experience for all of us. Um, anyways, the way I came about um, realizing that it is a much more enjoyable experience when you play in a party is was because of a certain game on Array where we were playing in almost a complete, if not a complete, team in Ground War Domination, and a good majority of us had Blackbird set. I think at least six or seven of us had it set, and we were getting a lot of them, needless to say. And they were up almost the entire game. And I have to say, you don't realize how good Blackbirds are until you have one the entire game. And then you look at everybody's KD and... I get no doubt, but I get over again, but or maybe you guys have already realized it because uh, I didn't realize it at first. When I first heard about the Blackbird killstreak in Black Ops before I even found out about the game or knew much about it, it was just described to me as a UAV that shows the direction of the enemies. That sounded extremely stupid to me, and I thought it being an 8 kill streak was ridiculous. Now, a f almost a month into this game's uh, release time, no, actually over a month, um, I'm seeing that it's probably one of the better kill streaks in the game, or it definitely is one of the better kill streaks in the game, um, but it might be the most overpowered. Or not overpowered, but powerful. I keep choosing the wrong word as words, I apologize. Um, 
So yeah, that game on Array, we had Blackbirds up almost the entire game, and if I can go back into my recent games, it might still be there. If uh, I don't remember if it actually turned out well or not, but if it's there, maybe I will share. I just rhymed. Pair. Okay. Um, and yeah. So you might notice I'm using Second Chance Pro this game. I apologize. I've not used Second Chance Pro since. Um, it might be one of the reasons I did better in this gaming session, but... Uh, nevertheless, I still do not use it because I find it is cheap, and after sniping for a little bit, it has only gotten even more and more tedious and annoying for me. Um, definitely, in my opinion, it should be taken out of the game. I don't know why they think it it's necessary to leave it in at all, but you've probably heard tons of rants on the perk as it is. So the suggestion I have, that I, ha I didn't even make this up myself, and if you're the one who made up this, kudos to you. But I saw a tweet to David Vonderhaar, the multiplayer director at Treyarch, saying um, that there should be, like, you, when you, you know when you shoot somebody with a juggernaut, how the juggernaut indicator pops up, or what if that happened with Second Chance? Like, I know you might see the guy, but if you snipe him from a distance and you can't really see what happened, then, I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. We interrupt this commentary with more music of epic proportions. While on the topic of second chance, I'm a little tempted to just go on a rant about things that I think should be fixed in Black Ops, but I guess we'll just save that for another video since I'm kind of running out of time here. Uh, but don't get me wrong, this is a great game. Uh, not sure if it's my favorite Call of Duty yet, but at the same time, I'm not sure which one it's competing against. So, uh, I think it's a good game. And here's my last death of the game, and I'll totally over-exaggerate it for you. I literally just blew out my headphones while listening to that sound effect. <laughs> I really like that sound effect though, for whatever reason. Um, and the gameplay is wrapping up now. I end up just walking around the map for the la last couple seconds of the game and end up back at our spawn. But yeah, that's 61 and 5 jungle domination. I end up with the most kills and captures on our team, which seems pretty good to me. A little objective playing thrown in there. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please rate the video. Uh, it boosts my self esteem and. It makes your parents love you more, so there you go. Later. Yes. We're going.